Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cody here. I'm back with another video. This will be not only a tutorial, but just some clear advice about how the whole neighborhood experience works. Now, I know a lot of videos are going to be put out about this. How do you get the 99? How do you get all your badges? What do you have to do? What do I have to do? What can my teammates do to help me? Now, first thing I want to talk to you guys about is my career and playing the games. Now, playing my career starting off is a big L, but once you become a starter and you get good quality minutes, then you'll be able to get your badges as well as level up in XP. But you can't just play my career and think that you will badge hunt, you will grind, and everything like that. You have to play the part. You have to play Pro-Am, you have to do it all in order to rep up fast, quick, and easy. Now, second thing is, I want to talk to you guys about the neighborhood, my part. When you're at my part, if you play 2v2s, I put a video out about this. If you play 2v2s and you're a playmaker or a center of any caliber, you can get a lot of badges fast and easy. If you're a playmaker, such as your passing, your double dribble on moves for ankle breaker. If you're a shooter, you want to get your corner specialist, your catch and shoot, your limitless range. If you're a center, you want to get your hustle rebounder. You want to go ahead and get your brick wall. Uh, maybe you're a stretch four and you want to get your limitless, your corner. You can do a lot of that in the 2v2s. Now, when you add 3v3s in a mix, it's kind of harder to get your badges, but you can still grind it out more than my career starting out as a low overall and not having starter minutes. Okay, guys, if you made it to this part of the video, make sure you put in the comment section I made it. In order to rep up the fastest in neighborhood, my career, whatever you want to call it, you have to play Pro-Am Walk-On. Pro-Am Walk-On, on average, gives you 10 to 13% to your overall progress bar. Now, as far as badge hunting, it is not great for badge hunting, but if you want to get your rep up fast to 99, play Pro-Am Walk-On. I will repeat, play Walk-On Pro-Am. It does not matter if you get an A plus at all. It's all about what your badge totals go up to. So if you get a lot of ankle breakers or you get a lot of uh, mid-range dead eye shots or you get a lot of difficult shots, and this is for builds like mine, it can vary for any other build. I'm gonna show you guys what my badge success totals up to and how many rep points I get as well as how much rep percentage I get in this game. You guys see my pick and roll maestro is maxed out. Look at all these points. I got drop success 4,000 right there, guys. Did you see the percentage rise? In total, I got 15,000 points from my game events and I got almost 10% to my overall rep progress. Now, I know a lot of people are probably gonna be thinking, well, I mean, it was kind of like that last year, so we kind of understand it, but if you really want to grind for your rep, play Pro-Am. If you want to grind for your badges, play 2v2s. If you want to grind for both and get an average layout of how things are, make sure you try to become a starter in my career. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps. And I know you guys are probably like, okay, iPod out here actually passing. He ain't in this ball hog gang. <laughs> make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new and make sure you guys turn on notifications if you are subscribed. This is your boy IKC signing out. Don't forget, you want to rep up to 99, play Pro-Am Walk-On. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace. Case Money. <laughs>